we're going to do a little armory book review. Um, this is one of my favorites. It's an awesome book, whether you're into clothing or fashion or photography as well, or portraiture especially. Japanese Dandy Monochrome by Masato Kawai and Naoto Okawa. So this book is just endless portraits of really, really well-dressed Japanese guys. Um, some are from the industry, some are not from the industry, but they wear their clothes so beautifully and you see so many interesting things like as you flick through these. Like this gentleman, Harasan, like American Ivy style suit. You can see it all in the machine stitching there. This is Kaysan, who was actually um, the former agent for Drake's and a very dandy sort of guy. Um, in fact, Taylor Cade probably made this suit for him too. He looks great. This guy's super interesting as well, Matsuyama-san. Matsuyama-san is one of the most famous um, watch writers in Japan. And strangely, when I look at this outfit, especially this vest, you know, Matsuyama-san spends a lot of time in Geneva. It is the sort of thing I can very easily imagine in Geneva. I'm not sure who this chap is, but I love that jacket. So that's a Norfolk jacket. So a Norfolk jacket's a country style jacket with a buttoning like that. So two across in the front and then these straps from the shoulder down to the pocket as well. Beautifully done. I actually wonder who made that jacket for him. This guy's amazing. This is Suzuki-san. So Suzuki-san's editor-in-chief for GQ Japan, and he's been editor-in-chief for God knows how long. He used to be a very famous car rider, but now he takes care of GQ. He, one of his things is he always wears um, two watches. So if you notice, he's actually got one and two left and right wrist. There's our good friend Komatsu-san. So Komatsu-san is um, the craftsman behind Ortis. So he makes a lot of our bespoke bags. Well, not a lot. He makes almost all of our bespoke bags. All right, I'm gonna try and go a little faster because there's so many pages. This guy's awesome too, Fujieda-san. For me, what I notice on this is um, just like such nice, subtle use of jewelry, you know? So Fujieda-san is the agent for Isaiya in Japan, as well as a bunch of other Italian brands. And uh, it, you know, just kind of like it adds up, right? Like someone who has such close contact with Italian culture, of course, would enjoy jewelry and know how to use it well from their outfits. This guy's awesome. Another Suzuki-san, this is Suzuki Haruo, um, who is one of the founders of Ships and the creative director there now, I believe. And there we go, our old friend Kagasan, always looking very elegant. You know, and you've gone from like very um, American looks to a very, very Italian look. In fact, very Florentine. I mean, if you look closely at the jacket, um, you see a dartless front. Because Kagasan, who owns Tie Your Tie in Florence, um, obviously is very well versed in Florentine tailoring. And then finally, a very good friend of the store, um, Eiske Yamashita. So Yamashita-san is um, a freelance journalist and also the creative director for Men's Precious magazine. Um, another great Japanese publication. So, I mean, there's tons more portraits in here. Um, all of them are well worth a look just because they're beautifully shot and because the clothes are amazing and you'll probably pick up a few interesting things that you could use in your own outfits from looking at it. Check it out. Uh, we have it in store. I think it might be online as well. Um, Japanese Dandy Monochrome. Thanks for watching.